The draw and the come to me and the follow me exercises begin to create the magnetic pull and energy attraction that keeps you and your horse together at liberty. In these exercises, I am walking through a step by step process to stimulate the draw. Your horse has to think that coming into you is, is, is a good thing to do. So, number one, and this is why we have the Be With Me exercises, your horse has to think that just being with you is, is a good idea before they will actually come into you. You know, they have to feel that it's safe. In the case of the Aspen, who we're going to bring out in a minute, she has to feel safe. Many horses have to feel that it's worth their while. You know, well, what am I going to get, you know, if I draw? You know, so that, but they have to feel that they want to come into you, okay? That's number one. So number two, if I can dissect it a little bit, you're going to start out thinking about your, the point on your horse's shoulder right here. Every horse has a magic spot and you have to kind of find it, okay? It is usually at a 45 degree angle, but it can be at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to look at the point of his shoulder and I'm going to step back at a 45 degree angle. Come on, buddy. See, he's overriding it. Isn't that cool? Good job. <laughs> Thanks for that demo. Now let's, let, let's do this demo. Come on. Good boy. So I'm going to start at a 45 degree angle and notice that I'm going backwards but I'm going to spiral a little bit back to his hip and the reason I'm doing that is I want that inside foot to come towards me. Notice I'm kind of going back towards the hip. That's going to cause that inside foot to come towards me and it's going to encourage him, particularly if I whistle and do the name cue, to look at me. Ideally, I want my horse, when I draw him in, to look at me. That's where the name cue is so, I know, is so important. Banjo! Banjo! That is so when he draws into me, he's looking at me. He's not just moving into me. Come on, Banjo! Now, the name cue is really important later on in the program because it becomes a way for your horse to look at you. So when they're 30, 40 feet away from you, you say the name cue, they will look at you. They may come into you, they may just look at you. So it's a way to get their attention at a distance. Okay? So, come on buddy. Come here you. So this starts to activate the magnetic pull. What's interesting is it comes and it goes, particularly today. Come on, buddy. So now I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Good boy. If I send him away, it, it's coming back to me. I can feel it, I can feel it. This is the part where, where you go away, Banjo. Come on. Good, good. So the draw and the name cue gets it going. Over time, you can change your body position. Now I can get it from the front and I can go to the hip position and use the magnetic pull. Good boy, come on, this way. Now, it probably looks like training to you, and it is. What we're doing is we're taking a natural phenomenon and I'm using it to train. And I'm using it to add signals. Come on. Okay. So is he, has he learned signals? Absolutely. Come on, buddy.